So I used to do a ton of built-ins and shelving projects for clients. Most of it was fairly simple and functional. Budgets were tight and people wanted something that would look good and add to their storage space. Since I started this channel, I've been bombarded with questions about how to make more affordable and effective built-in and shelving projects. I always throw out this one piece of advice before all others, and I'm amazed at how few people already know about it. It has to do with material selection, and that's what we're talking about today on The Honest Carpenter Show. There's no shortage of materials out there that can be used for shelving and built-ins. Full plywood sheets can be broken down, MDF planks can be purchased, melamine boards are available, and you can always just get surfaced wooden boards. But the most useful material, in my opinion, is the one that people always overlook, pre-primed pine. It's generally stocked in close proximity to all your other options, and it's milled to dimensions that make it perfect for shelving and built-ins. Pre-primed pine is exactly what it sounds like, pine boards that have already been primed, surfaced, and sanded. They're basically ready to cut and install right when you purchase them. But what makes them so great is that they're also incredibly affordable. If you just compare them to their clear pine or poplar counterparts, they're actually cheaper. Often, they're about what you'd pay for knotty pine, but their quality is better. The reason they can get away with charging these low prices is that the boards are actually finger joint. In other words, they're made of much smaller pieces glued together and surfaced. This saves on lumber costs, which means that manufacturers can send it through a priming and sanding process and still not raise prices too high. As a professional, I can't overstate how much time, hassle, and money this has saved me over the years. Pre-primed pine is flat, smooth, and typically free of raw wood defects. It's also already one step into the painting process. If I was going to build a project with clear pine or even plywood, I would usually go ahead and prime the pieces before I even cut them. This reduces some of the tedium of painting things after they're installed. But pre-primed is ready to go. Generally, the only parts that need to be reprimed are cut ends, ripped edges, or routed edges. And that's all easily done with a brush and some primer. As for dimensions, pre-primed pine is milled to frequently used shelving and built-in dimensions. So the 1x12 options are upper cabinet depth, great for deeper utility storage, like this system I built in this laundry room, or this custom wardrobe I built in an old house without storage space. But both the 1x8s and 1x6s can make for narrower shelves like the kind I installed in this tight closet. And the 1x2s are perfect for face frames, which I use a lot. That's a topic I'll discuss in depth in a video coming up soon. And a couple of these projects, I didn't paint and neither did the client. They were fine with the primed appearance and they intended to leave it that way. I definitely let them know that painting would give them far more durability, but sometimes in mud rooms and laundry rooms, people just aren't that concerned about it. It looks good enough, it's strong, and they're happy. As for working with pre-primed pine, it's a lot like working with any other wood. It cuts like pine, so you should try to avoid splintering and blowout, but I'm convinced that the primer layer actually gives it a slightly cleaner cut. New cuts should be sanded, especially rips, and edges should be eased to hold paint better. Otherwise, the stuff paints beautifully. As for using wood glue on it, companies like Titebond state that their product does not bond well to painted or primed surfaces. You're supposed to sand down to bare wood. But I'll confess that I've used wood glue on pre-primed pine plenty of times, and I've still gotten a fairly strong yield. As long as you're not relying on it to hold extreme weight, which most shelving doesn't, I think you'll be all right. If you're nervous about it, just sand off the primer where the joints meet. But the topic of strength does bring us to a couple of drawbacks with pre-primed pine. The first is that since it is finger joint, it's not necessarily as strong as solid lumber. Again, use it only in light load shelving. Don't stack your kettlebells and weights on it. Also, it does not hold up well in damp conditions. So I don't think it should ever be used in an exterior setting. The same can be said for pre-primed trims. I see people install them outside all the time, but even when they're painted, eventually those finger welds will start coming apart. And quality can vary greatly among pre-primed boards. They come from manufacturers all over the world and some are just inferior to others. At some lumber yards, boards can look gloopy or rough or even chipped. Other times, they're pretty much perfect. So find your lumber yard that stocks the best quality and just go there for your pre-prime boards. That's pretty much it, a great little tip or hack for easier built-in and shelving projects. What do you think? Let me hear about it down in the comments. And remember, at thehonestcarpenter.com, we consult with homeowners nationwide on a range of important issues. If you've got serious questions about your home, you can book one of our affordable live consultations by phone or video 
and we'll talk you through everything from home inspection reports to contracting issues, storm damage, upcoming major project concerns, and even DIY solutions. So just check us out at thehonestcarpenter.com. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post a video. I'm Ethan James with thehonestcarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.